Oregon State, Oregon State University, and uh, was quite nervous, but calming down nicely, got through the first five. And uh, you say that you're every man's dream. Oh, no, but I, some people think I might be since I'm very frugal. Are you? I've been told that I pinch pennies until they squeal. Till they squeal? Till they squeal, yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll, you may wind up with a lot of pennies to squeal here, you know. Be cool. <laughs> Let's try for it. You're 10 away from all the money. You're going for $2,000. Three lifelines left. Let's play. $2,000. Gregory Hines is famous for performing what style of dance? Ballroom, ballet, swing, tap. That would be D, tap. That's my final answer. Yeah, Gregory Hines, known for his great tap dancing. <laughs> Up to $4,000. The Yukon River flows through what U.S. state? Minnesota, Alaska, Idaho, Montana. I do believe it is B, Alaska. That is my final answer. Got that one, too, for $4,000. Going for $8,000. What TV science show host was associated with the phrase billions and billions? Carl Sagan, Rod Serling, Bill Nye, Mr. Wizard. That would be A, Carl Sagan. Final answer. Yeah, Carl Sagan said him all the time, billions and billions. 16,000 hasn't even taken a breath yet. Here it is. A Texas bar named Gillies was the backdrop for what popular 1980 movie? Roadhouse, The Blues Brothers, Urban Cowboy, American Gigolo. That would be um, C, Urban Cowboy. Final answer. And that's what it was. Gillies, Urban Cowboy, 1980. Here it is for $32,000, Kara. Who served as both U.S. Vice President and President without being elected to either position? Rutherford B. Hayes, Gerald Ford, Andrew Johnson, Chester A. Arthur. Oh, I think I know this one. Um, what the heck, I'm gonna go for it anyway. It would be B. Gerald Ford. That's my final answer. Yes, it's Gerald Ford for thirty-two thousand dollars. Make it look easy here. You got to the thirty-two thousand dollar level. Now let's keep going. She's five away with three lifelines. Here it is for sixty-four thousand. The organ a spider uses to spin webs is found on what part of its body? Leg, abdomen, mouth. Thorax. I think I know the answer, but I would um, like to use the 50 50. Why don't we do that? Computer, take away two of those wrong answers, please. It's ah, kind of what I feared. Abdomen, thorax. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot and say D, thorax. Final answer. Final answer. No, it was oh. the abdomen. Kara, that's too bad. 32,000 kiddos. Good luck to you. Thank you. Well, so Kara goes back to home, sweet home, with $32,000. But now, almost out of time. So here's the next fastest finger question. With these novelists in order according to the year of their birth, starting with the earliest. Stephen Crane, Joyce Carol Oates, Louis L'Amour, Terry McMillan. Okay, now let's see that answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest author, Stephen Crane, and then Louis L'Amour, and Joyce Carol Oates, and finally, Terry McMillan. Now, who got it right? Fastest time, let's see. Winner, 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 Kevin Oates. Hey, Kevin, good for you. Let's play. All right, so the winner is Kevin Olmsted from Ann Arbor, Michigan. What do you do, Kevin? I'm an environmental engineer. Environmental engineer. All right, good for you. All right, we're almost out of time, but let's get started. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Kevin Olmsted. 
Going for $100, a common request found on rented videotapes reads, please be kind what? Fast forward, rewind, pause, don't eat the tape. The answer is B, rewind, final answer. Yes, it's rewind, got it. Here it is, that $200 question again. In order to hail a taxi cab in the U.S., it is customary to stand at the curb and do what? Stomp feet, applaud, raise arm, weep. Got to do it here in town, raise arm, final answer. Yes, you raise your arm, and you might get one. Well, that's how it means we're out of time for tonight, but Kevin will be back here on Tuesday night, and joining him will be 10 people vying for that big bonus. And they are Donna White, Frank Buffett, Stephen Carnahan, Howard Cummings, Bobby Leger, Zane Stearns, Todd Latshaw, John Pickering, Steve Kulovich, and Kevin Roof. Stay tuned now for 2020 coming up next from ABC News. On Sunday night, ABC presents Charlton Heston in the Ten Commandments. So we'll be back with Kevin Tuesday night at 8, 7 Central, when he'll be playing for $2,180,000. From New York, everybody, good night. <laughs>